Hello again everyone, another short video for a kit review of my West Highland Way kit and there's going to be no waffle so let's get straight to it. Come on! Okay so here we are again. Now a lot of this kit's the same as my coast to coast kit so I'm not going to repeat myself, don't worry, stay with me. Uh, I'll just quickly skip over that stuff. If you're interested in seeing my coast to coast kit and a bit more detail about the items then go back and have a look at that video if you've got a few minutes, it doesn't matter if you haven't. Um, and I'll spend a bit more time on the kit changes that I made to do the West Highland Way in Scotland. So I had Scarpa Terra leather boots, Gore-Tex, and my red Gore-Tex birdhouse jacket which fits me perfectly. Uh, I only took one base layer, the old zip up long sleeve Berghaus Argentian one. Um, I had really good results on other long distance walk that I did and I just washed it every other day and it was perfectly fine, dries in no time at all. Ditched the shorts for Scotland even though the weather was really good. Uh, oh by the way, I went in um, late April so that time of year can be one way or the other can't it? It can be uh, fantastic weather or freezing so I didn't really know which kit to take. I went somewhere in the middle and I got lucky with the weather. If you see my videos then you'll know that. So anyway, I ditched the shorts um, and the sunglasses and the sun cream. <laughs> uh, took my mountain equipment Ibex trousers again and my uh, cricket sun hat and uh, all this stuff like um, my hiking towel and a wash kit and um, tissues and all that sort of stuff. Uh, compass, pen knife, um, earplugs for sleeping, pen and pad, this great little thing, plastic wallet weighs nothing, put credit cards and cash in there, and my water filter, which I went into detail on last time. So it's a Soya Mini. So if you want to see how that I got on with that last time, go and have a look at that previous Coast to Coast kit review. Um, and I bought some new um, dry sacks. I went for a few smaller ones and in different colour because uh, they were so good I decided to compartmentalise all my kit in different ways um, in smaller bags uh, and that worked really well. So what kit was different? Uh, well I bought a puffer jacket, this thing here, it's only a cheap one, not expensive, I know you can spend a lot of money on down jackets in particular but that one is reasonably lightweight, it's good for me, fits snugly underneath my red jacket and really warm so great, that worked really well. Um, I took these old flip flops out of the garage just in case my boots were soaking wet if there, was, there aren't any river crossings really on the West Highland Way. There's a few um, streams or burns that you have to cross but I thought if they get soaking wet I don't want to be wearing them in the evening so I bought those. That was okay. My waterproof trousers, they stayed in that pack the whole way. Again, these are Berghaus Pack Light, they're called. Okay, now my rucksack. This thing is the Berghaus Free Flow 35.8. So it's about six or eight litres bigger than my last one, the blue one. Um, I just wanted a bit more space to take the uh, more stuff that I've got here. Um, and, and also for future, but I really, really liked the way that it fit me. I really liked the way that it hung on my shoulders and on my hips. In other words, all the weight on my hips really, and only a little bit on the shoulders. It was feather light, so I had no issues at all with uh, rubbing on my shoulders or my collarbone or anything like that. And I really love this uh, free flow system. So I went for that and it was brilliant. It was excellent, it was, it was a really good upgrade because these pockets that are really deep, they stop there now, the pockets stop there, which enables much bigger bottles to go in these and they can angle back and I could get a, a big uh, sort of three quarter litre bottle. I took the, two of those smart water bottles this time, not just the one, and um, that was a great improvement because I could also reach around easily and get that bottle out. So that was good, a success. Um, oh, by the way, some of you might have seen this on there. This is a little SOS whistle which thankfully I've never used, but I always tie it to the strap of my rucksack. Okay, so what else? Uh, sleeping gear. I didn't know if it was going to be cold, so I went for a long sleeve, stretchy t-shirt and uh, long johns. And I also bought this head mosquito net, this thing. 
Um, now, they're about five or six quid for midges and ticks and things in Scotland. Um, I took my cup kit. Now, I won't go into detail on this because there's another video which goes into detail of the beautiful contents inside that little friend of mine. So go and have a look at that if you've got a few minutes. Uh, I also packed plenty of energy bars, coffee sachets, porridge sachets, took those with me. I didn't take big meals because I know there's lots of places to, to buy food at along the West Highland Way. You don't need to take a lot of food. You'll only put an extra weight into your bag if you do. You'll be able to top up easily. Uh, right, so what else? I took seal skin waterproof gloves. Now I tested these out. They're quite thin, quite small ones. That's, that's two gloves there in my fist. Because um, it wasn't going to be snow, but it might have been chilly. Uh, and those are excellent. I tested them uh, before I went and submerged my hands in the sink. Not a, not a tiny bit wet. Okay, what else did I do? I took a slightly different beanie. It's a bit warmer beanie. Same kind as that. I've got. Uh, I took a tripod for the first time. This is really simple, it's a cheap tripod, but it worked really well. I could set it up for some of those shots you might have seen on the video. Headphones and charging cables and whatnot. And also took a power bank to charge up my phone just in case. This is an Anker 10,000 milliamp hours bank, which comes with its own little uh, cable and its own drawstring bag. And that works really well because I've got two zip pockets, one on the thigh and one up by the pocket area. That worked excellently well. The old buff of the West Island Way, brilliant. We found it to be a little bit longer than other buffs I've had, so it was great. Um, when the wind picked up in particular, that was great. I bought this Chicharone book guidebook, West Highland Way guidebook, this thing. Um, it's got a waterproof plastic sleeve that you can either leave on or take off. It's also got a separate Ordnance Survey map book in the back, which you can pull out. And these are excerpts of the entire route on the two and a half inch Ordnance Survey map. Now it's, uh, oh by the way, if you see my video of King's House, that's the little ticket for which I got a uh, free pint of Guinness. So I kept that as a souvenir. <laughs> So, just to save a bit of weight, because I didn't want this to be all dog-eared, I just took a photo of my phone of each page like this and left that at home. And then as I went through, I just kept deleting the photos off my phone. You don't need a GPS on the West Highland Way. The route is so well marked that you don't really need it. So, I didn't take that. The usual stuff, pen and paper, notebook, and the famous walking pole. Now, didn't really get much use out of this. couldn't resist showing you some of those again <laughs> and if you don't know what all that was about then go and watch the vids. <laughs> a couple of other things I bought and uh, a spare Bic lighter in a plastic bag and I stored that elsewhere in my rucksack just in case it was washed out and I couldn't use my stove uh, and I also bought some of these tick tools just in case I got unlucky not sure if you can see them that's good and that's all my kit. Now, it was a bit heavier than uh, the Coast to Coast kit, but it still weighed in and only, uh, without food and water, uh, only 10 kilos. And I know, once again, I know you can go lightweight, and I know you can use those baggage handling services um, in between days on the route, but I didn't want to do that, and I was quite happy with 10 kilos, and it was brilliant, worked great. So, that's my West Highland Way kit. I hope this was helpful for you, and if you're looking to go on your own West Island way, you'll have a great time. As long as you prepare well, you'll love it. Enjoy!
Well, it's Friday night, and I'm having one of these before I clear all this stuff up. Cheers!